During the ONS Europe event in Antwerp, I sat down with Beth Cohen of Verizon to discuss the latest developments in NFV, Edge and Intelligent Networking open source projects. So there's been some work um, in recent years around orchestration with ONAP, uh, the VNFs, uh, virtual network functions, you know, how, how do you incorporate them. You know, so many of the operators are moving toward you know, using, using these virtual functions. Uh, there's a lot more, you know, the vendor community, of course, is building them as well. You know, 5G is also coming into the picture because that's, you know, the, the, the degree of sophistication of the tools that are needed to, to keep 5G going is, is just that much higher and you really need to take a lot of um, what's been going on with the cloud vendors and applying it to the network. So network as a service, of course, is growing. All of, all of which is great, but you know, I think there was sort of a growing consensus that you really needed to put it on something. All, all of these components can't be on nothing. And uh, there was a recognition that we needed to define much more carefully what that thing was. So there has been, not on purpose, but there has been a, a consensus that many of the vendors, of any of the operators are putting, putting their infrastructure in OpenStack, but there was never really a concerted effort to, to define a telecom version of that to support virtual network functions. And so that gap kind of just all of a sudden became obvious. Uh, there was a project that was started by Vodafone and Orange back in the fall last year, and then the AT&T came to the realization, and then Verizon, and then and then it was sort of just came all together. The speed that we need to deploy this, and it's not just it's not just Verizon; it's just across all the operators. the The speed that we are incorporating this technology in requires. It requires a degree of cooperation with the operators and the vendors to, to achieve that. Operationally, it's it's critical, uh, and and you know obviously all telecoms do a huge amount of testing before before going uh, operational. Um, you know we run five nines, and five nines means it can't go down. And what that means is we need to architect it in a way that supports that kind of high availability. And I think a lot of vendors don't really kind of understand just what that actually means. So the testing and validation is just one piece. I and mean, we're not giving up on our, any of our testing and validation. It's just if we can cut 10% of it out by having this certification, we've come out ahead. All all the vendors have come out ahead, all the operators have come out ahead because there's just that much less development and that much less, less testing has to be done. I think as we scale, the community support will grow because it's, it's not just the, the, the big operators, it will, it will flow down into the smaller operators, the, the ones that don't you know, rely on the vendors more so than the big operators. You know, the big operators can go to the vendors and say, well, this is our requirements. The smaller operators really can't do that. They, they really rely much more on the vendors to give them the support that they need. So if there's a common infrastructure that the, everybody can point to, that benefits everybody. We continue to, to make progress. So uh, the, I've been working on the edge coming up on um, four years, I think, three or four years, something like that, so very early. Uh, the, the Edge Working Group in OpenStack is starting to work on the second white paper. So we're going to be taking the original one and, and, and kind of deep delving into some more um, interesting architectures and tools and other things to support the Edge. You know, we've learned a lot um, in the last few years about what's required. We've also uh, driven a whole lot of development in the vendor community and we've learned a lot ourselves as we've rolled out these edge deployments. So we'll only continue. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of interest in the public cloud uh, vendors. Um, AWS has uh, Outposts is their, their play in this space. There's, uh, there's other vendors playing I know that are working on edge hardware. You know, and edge software and tools. I'm, I'm thrilled, <laughs> I'm thrilled to be part of, 
a part of this, seeing this community start from sort of nothing. And, and really, we're now, we're now getting the tools that we really need to, to support EDGE. And uh, the 5G, of course, is, is just part of that, that conversation. We, we have a little pieces of it. Uh, SD-WAN is kind of the first step, application-aware networking. But it, it has to be much deeper than that. The applications, uh, you know, not only do the networks need to respond to the applications, but the applications need to be better at responding to the network. So that, that you know, right now, we can drive it from the network side. Uh, the network can, you know, look at the packets and be aware of where they're going, look at, you know, performance metrics and, and adjust to dynamic networking. Um, we're getting there. I wouldn't say that we're 100% there on the dynamic networking, but, but there's, there's progress being made. But the applications also need to become more network aware as well. And that's something that's really just in its infancy. So I'm pretty excited about the intelligent networking. There's going to be definitely watch this space. <laughs>